Fulham have been urged to ditch plans to build a pier coming out of Craven Cottage. The West Londoners have spent £80 million in the last two years on constructing a new-look riverside stand. It sees the capacity of the stadium increase from 25,700 to 29,600. And the new stand, which is due to be completed this year, will include a restaurant, hotel, market and event spaces. The redevelopment has seen the river wall that backs onto the Thames move outwards by 9 metres. But Fulham's grand plans are not done yet as they hope to install a pier that would allow fans to travel to the ground using a ferry service. Read more in F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L-W-R-I-G-H-T-O-R-R-O-N-G. That didn't feel right, says Neville on FA Cup draw fix claims ROL up win a rose gold Rolex or £27,500 cash alternative from just 77p with our discount however, the idea has received huge backlash from some locals, with a stop the peer petition amassing over 17,000 signatures. Those against the expansion of Craven Cottage claim it will hurt sailing clubs, schools and impact the iconic boat race between Oxford and Cambridge. British rowing chief Mark Davies said, that stretch of water will become pretty well unusable. I'm not sure people understand just how many people use that course from all over the country. Most read in Football Friend Zone forgotten Arsenal stars return in behind closed doors game, but get hammered 4-0 footy felon ex-Liverpool prodigy who won silverware with Prem Giants jailed over drug plot fear of Todd, Chelsea face more severe points deduction than Everton and Nottingham Forest jail hell decapitated inmates warlords. Inside Brazil's jails where Robinho faces nine years best free bet sign-up offers for UK bookmaker major events take place, but it's also the major training venue. It's like Wembley and St George's Park. Meanwhile, Putney MP Fleur Anderson is also against the proposal. West Ham fans delayed getting to Craven Cottage for Fulham clash as boat crashes into Hammersmith Bridge, she added. If the plans go ahead, they will mean very large ferries coming down a relatively safe piece of river, which is used by thousands of people, lots rowing clubs, school clubs and youth clubs. They all say it's going to be too dangerous. Talk of the pier has gone quiet amid construction of the new stand, but the Telegraph report that planning permission may yet be sought. The original artist's impression of a floating jetty sticking out across the Thames has been scrapped. Fulham claim the design would create substantial and obvious benefits to the local community. The boat race this year, the famous boat race between Oxford and Cambridge will take place for the 169th time. In 2023, Cambridge extended their lead over their rivals after holding off a late charge. It was a double for Cambridge last year as they also triumphed in the women's race. This year's event takes place on Saturday, March 30th. The women's race kicks off at 2. Forty-six p.m. GMT and the men's takes place after at 3.46 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time.
it will be broadcast live on the BBC. In the men's boat race, Cambridge have won 86 times and Oxford 81 times. In the women's, Cambridge are lead 47 to 30.